I'm going to try to do this in under three minutes. It's going to be tough for me because I am long winded. Where do you start? You start with exactly where you are and it is going to depend on where you are and where you want to go. You want to get into a house. That's the where you want to go part. Where are you? Well, you need to kind of do some diagnostics. Now, researching what it takes to buy a home is important and understanding that there's good and bad information out there. I am happy to help with this step, but in general, you need three things to buy a house. You see credit, income, and assets. It is more than just your score that is getting looked at when you apply for credit. It is your history. And there are some options with those people who do not have credit scores. And it so you need enough credit in general, depending on your loan program, somewhere between 500 and 600 minimum credit scores. And like I said, it does depend on the loan you're trying to qualify for. That's a score starting point. If you need to work on your credit, my recommendation is start by paying things off on time for the next year. Income. Now this is a two-parter. So you need to make enough to offset all of your current debt and your proposed housing expense. That means your new mortgage payment. What does that look like? That's at least double all of your debts and your new proposed housing payment. And that's your gross income. There are a lot of caveats to this one because there are a lot of ways that we can structure and different rules for different programs. So talk to a loan officer before you decide you can't qualify based on your debt to income ratio. Assets, you need down payment, closing costs, to pay out of pocket. Now, how much do you need? Enough. How much is enough? That depends because if you are a veteran or you get a USDA loan, you could have 100% financing. And if you have your sellers pay your closing costs, you could come out of pocket with very little. Typically, you will still need money for inspections, appraisals, and deposit monies like earnest money. But you could close with very little, if nothing, out of pocket. So it depends on your situation. If you want more specific advice, there's a link in my bio, and that's what my initial consult is about. We diagnose where you're at.